joined now by Gerard Arrault. He is the French ambassador to the United States. Mr. Ambassador, thanks very much for taking the time. The relationship between Trump and Macron, perhaps Trump and France, you could say, not, not particularly warm in recent months. You, you can say that President Trump appeared to endorse Macron's opponent uh, in, in the race. So the background, a difficult setup to this meeting. How do you think the meeting went in the end? I think it went very well. First, there was the symbolic aspect, uh, the declaration, you know, really the friendship between our two countries. Uh, we are the oldest ally of the United States since 1778. Uh, we were together during the two world wars. So it, it was, I think, a very uh, strong symbolic message to have the American forces um, actually marching on the Champs-Élysées with the French, uh, the French troop for our national day with your president in attendance. But the fact is there are real disagreements, uh, one being uh, global climate change uh, and, and America's, in effect, withdrawal. Uh, the president, President Trump, hinted at something. He said, well, maybe we'll see some changes there. I mean, is there any substantive, any substantive result on that issue coming I, out of this meeting? Actually, I'm not going to comment about the American policy, but I think the U.S., uh, the, the president himself, has always said that he was open to what he calls uh, renegotiations of the, the Paris Agreement. Um, we have always said that really the agreement is an agreement, we can change it, uh, but we are ready to discuss with our American friends uh, what will help them uh, to remain in the agreement. Is that a renegotiation though? Because you need no, 200 some odd nations to sign on as well. Exactly. Uh, I think, you know, in the, uh, the climate change issue and the, the Paris Agreement, you have the Paris Agreement itself and you have also the national declaration uh, which is presented by each member state. Uh, and so, for instance, the U.S. may pretty well change its national declaration. And the national declaration was presented by the Obama administration. There has been uh, a lot of talk, not just by leaders of U.S. allies, uh, but also adversaries, as to how world leaders handle, manage Donald Trump. Uh, and there's been some talk that, well, one way to do it is, is you compliment. You give a warm welcome. Uh, you, you make him seem and feel welcome and big. And I wonder if, if in this reception here, did you sense something uh, of that, that, that Macron said, listen, this is the American president. We have to deal. We are allies. So I'm going to be his best friend, in effect. Actually, we the French, we give a warm welcome to all our guests. So the President of the United States was our guest, and so we gave him a warm, a warm welcome. Now, you have to understand that the problem that we are facing in Europe right now, uh, with the Russian challenge, with terrorism, with migrations, uh, really uh, is, is leading us to say more than ever, we the Europeans and we, and we the Americans, we have to be together. And that, I think, that's the message of the president. I think the last sentence of President Macron was that nothing will ever separate us, France and the United States. And I think that's what, something that we should remember of this really uh, great visit of President Trump. There was uh, quite a moment uh, in the goodbye, this, this now famous handshake. And handshakes have become sort of a, a test in all of President Trump's interactions, not just with the French president. I'm just going to play uh, the video here for our viewers. Um, it lasted, I think we counted uh, something along 30 seconds or so. Uh, and, and it looked to some, perhaps, as that neither wanted to let go first. Well, what's your read of that handshake? Was it, was it a, a little bit of an arm wrestling match? Or, of course, or? no. You know, really, that's <laughs> Washington, D.C. reading. I think it was very, very warm, very friendly. Look with the two wives. Uh, I think it's wonderful. It's really great. It shows that the visit has been uh, quite a success, that the, the two men and also the, their wives are getting along well together. Final question. We know that the, the French people, and I'm not going to ask you to speak for the entire French nation, yeah. but when you look at, at surveys, they, they do not particularly like President Trump. Uh, does a trip like this, though, uh, we know that his wife, for instance, got a good reception by the public in France. Does a trip like this, do you think, move the needle on how the French view President Trump? No, first, you know, people were saying, oh, there will be demonstrations against the President Trump. There was no demonstration in Paris. And, and there was a poll saying, do you approve the invitation of President Trump by President Macron? And the answer was 59 percent yes. Uh, because, you know, there is Donald Trump, but he is the president of the United States. And, and we respect him as the president of the United States, and especially uh, on Bastille Day. Let me take a moment to, to wish you a very happy Bastille Day. Thank you very much.